Hey guys, this is Swordfish, and today I'm looking at a really interesting game called Hero Generations. This is a game I backed on Kickstarter that was funded in April and is hoping to release in the first quarter of this year, but they just f released the final beta until the game is officially released, so I waited until now to take a look at it um, because I wanted them to think it was playable. So, Hero Generations is sort of... I w it's been described as five minute civilization, which is kind of how they taglined it. I would say it's a combination of like civilization and um, like rogue legacy in the sense of the civilization is that you're building stuff in the world, rogue legacy in the sense that you pass traits down to your offspring uh, every so often, and that's how you advance in the game. I played the tutorial so I would understand what's going on, so I'd like to start a new game. And let's see what's going on. Primary quest, kill boss, a no day, Requ reward, 4,500 fame. And another primary quest. So we get, these are primary quests that are essentially, your goal in the game is to accumulate fame. You you play as a hero. So obviously your hero wants to accumulate fame. You This is, every time you move a tile, you lose one year off of your life. And when you run out of years, you die. So, what you hope to do is accomplish some fame, fame finding things in your life, and attract a mate. And then, when you attract a mate, you have children, and then they continue your quest. So let me play it, and we'll see how it plays out. In the squares around the town, you can build stuff if you have enough gold. Uh, a farm is 400 gold every 10 years, which, um... Is you have to go buy to collect it, which is interesting. I'm gonna build that, even though it's gonna take all my gold, and we'll see what happens. It's really interesting how you have to really optimize your moves, because you only have this many moves to do all the things you want to accomplish, and um, it's not easy. Also, another quest, clear all eight forests. I don't think that's gonna happen, but... So, forests have random treasure. 800 gold. All right. Here's another forest, with 400 gold, and now there's a guy here, there's an enemy. He's, um, about the same level as me. It says Caution about him. My name is Vesan, his name is Inbrod. Caution, um, not really wanting to fight him. And then this is kind of a dangerous guy. I'm gonna go to this ruins, and pick up that thing, and then maybe, oh crap, he attacked me. Okay. They all move, they move sometimes, and sometimes don't move. Part of it is like, ah, crap, what do I do? So these battles are sort of like D&D &D battles. You roll, whoever rolls higher wins. Whoever, I guess if it's a tie, which I've never seen before, nobody gets hurt, good for me. Right now I'm trying to bring this artifact back to the town, and this dragon, oh no, is the final boss, is after the artifact. So here it is, I got 500 fame, and that's all good. Now that he followed me here, hopefully he's not going to follow me around, because that would be unpleasant. That forest had a random 500, uh, 5 life, and I just missed this, but... The towns basically generate mates for you, based on your what the people in that town are looking for. I'll go back there and see what, who, what that mate is all about at some other point, but I want to explore a little more. Here is a general shop. What do we got here? Small gift re reduces the requirement of mates by 25%. So basically, mates are so far what I've seen is mates are looking for either gold or fame. Depending on the mate and the requirement is whatever. This reduces it. This uh, digs on broken ground. This is a great sword. There was broken ground right here, which I've never done before. So Oh, I wasted a turn by going back in here. Okay. Got the pickaxe. Now that's an item. You can hold two items. Um, let me go here and dig. 600 fame, very nice. I probably should have gone to these first, though. Ah, here's a town with another mate, that's good. Let me clear... Ooh, milestone. I am an adult! And I've got cooler hair. And you get to flip a card, let's see. Greedy trait. So... 
as you can see when you hover over your hero, which you can't right now because I'm on a square, um, every X years they hit a milestone. They grow to an adult, and then old age, and I haven't gotten further than that, but they do something. So adult is, it's adult, middle age, old age, I think. So my strength went up because I'm an adult, and I got the greedy trait, which is 50% more gold from mines, but don't add gold bonus cards to your children's parenting board. So let me just grab this thing here. Now these guys are a different level, and um, let me go to the town. So I picked up some gold as tribute. I can go in the town and look at my mates, but real I want to collect some more stuff first before I do that. But this guy is dangerous, and if I go here, he might attack me, so I'm going to go up just in case. Find some stuff in the forest. Wooden raft. Move over water tiles. That's very Zelda. Uh, gold mine. Oh, yeah. Uh, it's just like a Zelda raft. I'm going to head back up here. Oh, no. Oh, dragon. Don't kill me. Great. All right, I'm heading to town. I'm gonna find myself a mate. I'm too nervous to walk around anymore. I wanna show you how the mating works, so let's enter Odebos. There's one guy. Odiani wants a hero with one orphan child to adopt. Interesting, that I've never seen before. I've never seen an orphan child. One money. Okay. Well, sure. Let's uh, let's let's see how that goes. Oh, oh, it wants a hero with one orphan child. Oh, I don't have an orphan child, so they don't want me. I can build another thing here. Let's build a museum. Two fame or double fame earned for completing treasure chests in a Gwent. Wow. Completing ancient treasure quests in adjacent towns. Let me do that. And this is upgraded. Cool. Oops. Milestone. Midlife. Five more, ten more strength, so I'm a little stronger now. I missed what happened to me, but what happens... I got an extra life expectancy. Very nice. Okay. Here's some more forest. It's good. Um, the ancient ruins. Okay, let me... Oh, hi. He's caution. He only has... Now, this that would be a tough fight. But let me do it. So, you roll to attack. And the higher number does this much damage. I did five damage. He only had two years on his life, so I killed him. Sweet. I found another town. Observatory re reveals stuff, which obviously they didn't care about. There's another ancient treasure, which, if it's safe down there, I'm gonna get. Weapon shop? I don't want to really spend money, because... Yeah, I don't really want to spend money, because I want to... I'm about to... Inventory full. Can I drop? I'm gonna drop this. And now I'm going to go to the Ancient Ruins. Oh. It picked up my pickaxe. Okay. Let me drop the pickaxe. Click to drop. Go here. Pick up the Ancient Ruins. Go over here. Go to town. Complete the quest. And there should be a mate for me. There we go. Mast... Mast... Mastsko loves you. Congratulations, Mastsko is your mate, and you set a top score. So, essentially, when you pick a mate, your hero settles down, and you're done adventuring, and then you have a child. What will you name your new hero? Annie Palm, sure. Seven flips left. So you get to flip these cards, and I got two rare cards. Very nice. And now we have our second generation hero. 16 years later. Here he is. Oh, he did inherit the raft. 
Your father hands down his wooden raft. The district building was invented. Adds new one new mate to nearby populations. Okay. There's a letter. I hope this letter finds you before you leave. A thunderstorm is... Uh-oh. My... My mom died. The quest is still to kill that boss. Um, and now I'm a little stronger than I, my previous hero was when he was born. And I also... This is very scattered, but another thing I just realized, something that they added to this game in Beta 104, which is awesome, is same-sex couples. So the guy, my the potential mate I had up here who wanted to adopt a child, maybe I didn't, I wasn't paying attention because they're kind of cartoony, but that may have been a man trying to mate with me, so we needed to adopt a child. That's super cool that they did that. I know that I saw on Twitter someone requested it as a feature, and they were like, yeah, let's do that. So let's see what's around. I can do this. Got myself some gold. This guy is super scary. This guy is doable. I'll fight him. The town of Tustar is a slum. Build next to it to make it a town. Oh, he destroyed, oh geez, a monster destroyed my town. I gotta check that out. I gotta build something next to it. Okay. Build. Let me build... A... Observatory. And now... Go fight this monster in town. He dead. Got some fame. Hopefully that restores the village. And now I can continue on my quest. I don't have enough money for the store, I think. But I can check it. Oh yeah, for the pickaxe. Let me get a pickaxe. Why not? And see what's here. 800 gold. Very nice. I have the raft. This is another stuff. Oh, Tustar slum. That's what they were talking about. Not o Odium. Still was good to kill the monster though. Okay, let's head to the Tustar slum and build a. A barracks next to it because I haven't made a barracks yet this guy is killable but t tricky um this guy also killable also dangerous though this is the previous town that I started at so I'm gonna head over here hit my adult milestone And three extra strength. Very nice. And I have nice blue curly hair. So let me beat this guy over the head with a raft real quick. Boom. Very nice. Got some fame. Visit this. Can I visit the museum? Oh, that's not useful. Oh, you can upgrade it, though. And here we go. So, as I said, that this game is kind of described as... Let me fight a tougher guy. This game is kind of described as five-minute civilization. If you haven't figured this out by now, and I didn't totally mention it... Oh, that enemy died. I didn't totally mention it, but... Um, now, this is interesting. I wish I could see the guy that's under this. We'll see. Um... Got some extra strength. Academy unlocked at Generation 4. So the longer you go, the better buildings you can have, which is obviously... And this is go to another world. I'm not ready for that yet. So, like I was saying... Um, enter the weapon shop. Oh, I can't afford a... I can't afford a sword. Darn it. But I can... I forgot to drop something to get before I got the artifact. Let me drop this. Oh, crap. The drop didn't work. And a building was destroyed. Where was that? Okay, drop. Drop it. You have to click that twice to drop it. And then pick this up. Anyway, I keep getting distracted. If you haven't figured it out yet... This is a persistent world because, like I said, five-minute civilization. Thunderstorm 
Can't move there, that's lava. Okay, well, let me bring this back to town after I go gold mining. And the dragon's coming for me. Okay, here we go. So this is a persistent world. And... Essentially, we're building it up as we play over our generations. Kill that guy, build a monument, clear all the forests, clear all the lairs. I haven't cleared any lairs yet, but... I'm at midlife now. Can I try... Maybe I'll try to go clear this lair. I'm gonna go try to clear this lair. Let me kill this guy. With my... Ladder. Raft. Get some gold. Kill this guy. Oh, he's a little tougher. Still not... I still should be beating him. There we go. And now... I should... Visit it to stop it from spawning. Oh, I did visit it. Okay. Another ancient ruin. Which wakes up the dragon. Which is very scary. Let me bring this back. If I had brought it here... I'd get extra... I'd get double fame. But I think the dragon would catch me. But you know what? I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try to bring it back to that one. There's a fight. I'm still... I'm getting there up in, I'm getting up there in age, but there you go. Let me bring it back to the Oh hi. Where'd you come from? Okay, he's dead. Oh he's not, he's a hero. So he has a lot of health left or lifespan. But so this is what this world looks like at the moment. We've got a town here, town here, town here. This is still a slum. Um, maybe next game I'll replace it, but let me go here. I'm now an elder. Less strength. Got a beard. Flip a card. One life expectancy, but... I am here to find a mate. And here is a mate, Erjo, with an adorable little thingy. There's my final score. About the same as last time. That's fine. My new hero, Kintkan. Seven flips left. That's a rare card. Strength gene, that sounds good. Extra life expectancy, very nice. More extra life expectancy, more life expectancy. The Strugene trait lets you add one rare strength card when mating. Okay. Third generation. 16 years later. Here's our next hero, Kinsan, an awesome horn horn haired girl. The station building was invented. Fast travel to other stations. That's very cool. Temple produces two lifespan every 15 years. Okay. World gossip. I hope this letter finds you before you leave. Well, that wasn't much. Still trying to defeat Onode. Now, what's my trait? One rare strength card when mating. Okay. Now, I want to fix up this town. Because it was a slum. And I don't want it to be a slum. I don't have any gold to build anything. Oh, and crap. I went to fight a dangerous guy by accident. And he hit me. Man, five years off my life. Uh, what about this tree? Iron hammer acquired. Repair a building, adding 40 to its lifespan. Okay, well, seems useful. Well, these guys are all in the way, so I'm going to head down here instead. I'm going to pick up some strength. Now, there's already a mate here for me. Which is weird, but I'm a child, but it's fine. Pick up some gold. There's a dragon. Let's not fight the dragon. We can fight this guy, though. Or push with him. That's fine. Oh, the pickaxe. There's a pickaxe there that I left there last time. This town is a slum. Let's fix it up. 
And we are an adult. More strength. Very nice. And sweet hair. And more strength. Awesome. This girl is getting strong. Well, woman, now that we're an adult, this woman is super strong. There's some gold. And what is this? It's n Since it... I visited it... Oh, it's cleared officially now. Same... Th oh, the same thing. I forgot that I can't carry the... Okay, let's drop the hammer. Pick up the artifact. Now the dragon's gonna chase me. Oh, crap. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die to the dragon. Unless I can kill it. Well, I can hit it once. With my... Five... Not bad. Now I gotta fight this guy too. So in theory, I could kill the dragon if I got lucky enough. In in, in a few years, she's gonna have even more strength. Now I gotta beeline it to there. Oh, I gotta hit again though. I gotta beeline it to the town with the bonus to artifacts, this wasn't worth it at all. What are I gonna get in the general shop? Nothing. Nothing. Who are you? I've never seen you before. You have a cool hat, though. There we go. Good work. Good work, hero. Very nice. Uh, I mean, it can't hurt to go gold, then... Midlife, more strength. Flip a card. More life. Oh, that's good, because I've gotten hit a few times. The dragon... Way more strength than me. I could get lucky, though. Inventory full item dropped. What was it, though? Oh, that's unfortunate. All right. Well, that's how that works. Now, why is this still a slum? Oh, I have to build a thing here for it to stop being a slum. That's how that works. I forgot I didn't do that there. Um, let's build the cheapest thing because I'm running away. Oh, it was another raft. Okay, that's fine. I'm glad that it drops it there and it just doesn't disappear. There's another artifact. Maybe I can grab it. I'm having a fight. I want to grab the pickaxe and see if that gets passed down also. I'm curious. She's got plenty of life left. Um, and I don't need observatories anymore because I've seen all the world now. But it would be good if I were to kill this lair so that next year or next hero it'll be safe. That's sort of the civilization planning stuff that goes into it is that, you know, over time you're trying to build up a world that's safe and, like, good in the future so that you can continue to adventure and eventually explore other places, which I want to do also. I think I'm gonna do the same thing I did again. Okay, let's drop the pickaxe, which takes two clicks, which seems like a bug. Go over here. Return the return that. Okay. Now pick up my pickaxe. Hit a milestone as elder. I beat my last fame, which is exciting. My hair turned gray. But I got extra three strength, which is nice. Now I'm gonna head back here, find myself my mate. Also Oh, he's a nice catch. 1,200 fame required, so he's been, he's been ready for me for a while. And he also has the strength trait. It was a much better final score. And let's see what I get. My Annie. 1,200 gold to start with? That's great. But, oh, not as many rares as I'd like. Alright, fourth generation. I have never gotten this far in my couple practices. And our next hero, Miani, she comes with some gold, which is cool. She inherited the raft and the pickaxe, so that makes sense. 
Academy building produces one combat damage every 15 years. That's a lot. World gossip, there's nothing more to gossip about. So what I'm planning to do with Miani is head straight for another world, because I just want to see how that works. You found a path that leads to another world. You find all new quests, enemies, mates, and more. World 3 Volcano. Just want to see what it looks like. Thousand Fame. New boss, new... M okay, so this is tougher. Probably. There's just a straight-up treasure chest that's locked. And what's this? A monolith? Oh, I gotta... F oh, I'm gonna die here. Or I'm gonna get attacked, at least. So this is the new... the new area. I guess. I wonder how many worlds there are. I'm not sure. I'm gonna head back to my... to my starting world as an adult. Flip a card. And I want to see what I can do. Yeah, let's head back. Oh no, that's not... Oh, I wasted some life. Head back to the forest. The world to the right over here is probably... I did the same thing again. With the stupid... I wonder why that does that. Okay, there's my quest completed. Let's get some stuff. I got a hammer. Okay. Let's go here. Get some gold. Go get some strength. We know what's going on. And I'm gonna go to there just... as a midlifer just to see what's in this town. Get myself some more fame for being the first explorer. Oh, Thief 2 trait. Thief, steal 40% of an opponent's money after a victory. That is cool. Alright. Another thousand fame for being the first explorer. This is a little less difficult, it seems like. Yeah, we got some easy guys to fight. He's not easy, though. Oh, he was underneath him. I didn't see that. Come on, come on, come on. Crap. And he does seven damage. Okay, well, I'm scared. Oh, and I don't have a pickaxe, either. Let me fight the easier guy. That was a push. Come on. Don't run to the right. Oh, man. Okay. I'm gonna go back to where I came from. And just do a little wrapping up here. So, this is Hero Generations. <laughs> I think this is really cool. Because it's sort of like... It's like a roguelike... A little more roguelike than... Than, like, a civilization... It's, well, Civilization isn't a roguelike at all. I think it's an interesting that it's kind of like a Civilization-building roguelike hybrid with, you know, the, the trade advancing, and it's a cool mix of genres, I think. I think it's really interesting. Um, like I said, it was backed on Kickstarter. Uh back in April, and it's coming out soon-ish, who knows, you know, with games, but it feels done, I mean, it feels very polished, and you know, like, it doesn't it doesn't feel like a incomplete beta game, this feels like, this feels like a final game to me, I don't feel like this is buggy or pol unpolished at all, the only bug that I feel like is that you have to click the items twice but, um that's not a huge deal but yeah, this is Hero Generations. I'm going to keep playing this until I die, I think. Or maybe until I kill the dragon. But I'm not going to subject you all to um, to watching me repeat this over and over again. That would be excruciating. And I don't want to do that. But let me know what you think of the game. I'm going to give you links to stuff as usual. So you, where you can check it out and buy it when it's done and talk to the developer and you know all that kind of stuff and when I said I was gonna play until I beat the dragon what I really meant was I'm gonna die because there's only two years left in my life and I can't make it back to town so instead you're gonna see what happens when you lose milestone sage
Well, this is the oldest I've gotten. Oh, and I got one extra life expectancy, but I still am not going to make it to town. And... Ugh. Most famous heroes. Personal best. 5040, Miani. There we go. Fourth generation. <clears throat> I mean, if you keep keep keeping alive, you can play it for a long time. Kind of grind away at your heroes. But uh, that's all for that. <laughs> so thanks for watching. Here's the credits. Or not. Credits. Here's the credits. Thank all these people for making a game. <laughs> and um, I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.